I accept this gavel in the spirit of partnership. Nancy Pelosi often cites her first memory of Capitol Hill as the day her father was sworn in as a congressman from Baltimore. Only eight women served in the chamber when he was first sworn in. When I came to Congress many years later, there were only 23. So there wasn't much progress made uh, from the 40s uh, to the 80s. But we made a decision and said, this is ridiculous. 23 women out of 435, that's not representative of our country and it's not fair. There are now 126 women in the House, including 92 Democrats, many elected with her help. As for Pelosi, as she likes to say, she went from housewife. You are a member of the House of Representatives. To House member. To House Speaker in 2007. The first and to this day the only woman to hold the office. It wasn't really a glass ceiling here. It was a marble ceiling. Uh, there had been for over 200 years a pecking order and who would be next and who would be next and they all had an agreement among themselves, the men, as to who would be next. So uh, when it was, when I was running, it was who said she could run. Pelosi used her position as House Democratic leader to elevate women, appointing them to leadership roles on powerful committees such as the administration and the Rules Committee. For me, the hours come for a new generation to lead the Democratic caucus that I so deeply respect. After two separate stints as speaker over eight years, she decided after the 2022 elections to make way for a new generation, but stay on as the first speaker emerita. She represents her San Francisco district and provides advice to the Democrats' new leadership team, but she says only when asked. I'm not going to be the mother-in-law in the kitchen saying my son likes the dressing this way. <laughs> Although Pelosi, who turned 84 on Tuesday, decided it was time to dial back, both President Joe Biden, who is 81, and former President Donald Trump, who turned 78 in June, are all in, running to serve four more years. Polls show a large segment of voters think both men, but especially Biden, should not run because of their age. What do you say to the critics who say, well, the president's too old to run again? I don't think the president's too old. Frankly, he's younger than I am. And he, uh, with, uh, I can tell you this from personal experience, as you serve, you gain knowledge, you gain wisdom, you have improved judgment. As for Pelosi, she's not ready to retire just yet. Again. She's running for re-election again, South hoping Virginia. she can help to flip the House from red uh, to blue. Joe Biden did so much um, in terms of our legislation that we, in the two years we were there, whether it was child tax credit, child care, uh, making child care affordable, uh, the family medical leave, all the things that we, we got some done, we didn't get others done. That's our unfinished business to get the job done. She's come a long way from her first visit to the House. As for women who want to follow in her footsteps, she offers this advice. And so I say, know your power, know your why, know why you want to do this, because it's rough. This is not for the faint of heart, it's rough. So know your why, because that justifies all the attacks you will receive, and you will receive them. Uh, and know your why, know what you care about, know how to get things done. In Washington, Cassie Simeon, Spectrum News.